Hi, welcome to this training video on how to create an electro pneumatic circuit. So let's start by building a very basic pneumatic circuit. So we'll take a double acting cylinder. I will take a 5-2 directional valve with a solenoid. And I will need a pressure source and two exhaust. So one here, holding down the control key, I will copy one here, and then making the connection between the two components. So now as you can see on my directional valve, I also have push button to manually force the valve. So let's test this system. Start simulation, and I can see that the simulation works well. So now let's create the electrical diagram that will control this circuit. Going into my electrical control library, by the way, we have both standard, North American standard and Euro European standard. So we'll take the North American standard and we'll drag our power source, 24 volt, our common, zero volt. We'll take a normally open push button when we drop it on the drawing, software will ask us to put a name. So let's put PB1. Now we're going to take a relay coy. Again, when I drop it on the schematic, it will ask me to put a name. So let's name this relay, relay1. Now I'll need a, if I connect this together, Now I will need to put a contact down here, which will be from that relay one. So I'm going to take a normally open contact. So once I drop it, the software opens the variable assignment window. And here in the alias, you can filter. So I know my relay is named R1. So let's put an R here. And you see my R1 shows automatically. On the left side, you have a question mark. That means that it is not assigned yet to nothing. Okay. And at the bottom here, you will automatically see the links once they're created. So if I double click on R1 to make the link, you see that now the question mark changed to R1. And at the bottom here, I have my link that I just did. Once you close this window, you will see that those two items are now linked together and they're hyperlinked as well. If you hold down the control key of your keyboard, and you click on this R1, it will automatically brings you to the relay that is attached to. So if you had used different drawing in your project, as we saw it before, we can create up to 10 diagram in a project. So if you had contact of this relay on different sheets, the software will automatically bring you to all the contact that are attached to that relay so you know exactly where they are located on your drawing. So now let's put a solenoid, which I will name A+. Plus. A plus. I can link these elements together. And now we need to link the solenoid to the A plus on my electrical drawing. So to do so, I'll double click on the directional valve. Here, select the solenoid, and in here, I'm going to filter for A. And here is my A+. Plus. Double click on it, and the link is made. If I close this window now, I have a link to A+. Plus. So if we start the simulation, once I push on PB1, I'm extending the directional valve. And once I release, it comes back automatically. But then I want to push only once on the push button for the cylinder to extend and remain extended. So I will stop the simulation. And then I'm going to go on my electrical drawing to put a wire between these two lines here. So right now, once I'm going to energize R1, this will close and will keep R1 energized. So if I start the simulation again, if I push once here, 
it keeps R1 energized. But then I need to have it retract. So two ways, I can either take a normally close push button that I can directly bring from the library, drop it directly on the line, it will automatically cut the circuit and I will name that PB2. So now if I start simulation again, push once, goes to the end, and I want it to retract, so I'm going to open the circuit and it will retract. Another way also, let's erase PB2. You see when you erase component, the line, the line will remain there as well. So now I'm going to take a proximity sensor that will put on the cylinder to see when it's fully extended. So we're going to go into the pneumatic library. Sensor. And then you can expand and go with proximity sensor. So we'll take this proximity sensor and we'll place it at the end of the stroke of the cylinder. Once you let go, it's going to ask you for a name. So let's name it A1. And you can move the IS wherever you want. You see now, let me zoom in a bit. These are the mechanical contact, those diamonds here. So you need to make sure to place it at the end of the stroke of the cylinder. But I don't know where it is exactly. So by double clicking on the cylinder, we'll go into the data sheet. And in here we will put in a technical modeling, the extension to 100%. And now you see that it tells me the exact position of its fully extent. So we can actually place those two diamond on top of each other. I will double click on my cylinder again to put the extension back to zero. Let's zoom all components. So now I have an A1 which is here, but I need to put that on my electrical circuit. So I will go into the pneumatic, close this here, electrical control. I can go into sensor switches. And I'm going to take here a normally closed proximity switch. I will drop it directly on the line. And now I need to link this one to my A1. So double click on it. Go into variable assignment. And here you see that filter is already put to A. So A1 is here. Double click on it. And now we have the two elements which are assigned together. So let's start the simulation again. Push once, goes to the end and we track automatically. I can go into the simulation tab to go into slow motion. And if I push PB1 again, now you can see in slow motion what's going to happen in my circuit. One last thing. Some of you may say that this is not the right way to draw this circuit because sometimes people do not put another command on a latch contact. So if you want, no problem. You can just move this component down here. By the way, if you move some a component, it remains connected. But if you want to disconnect it, you hold the shift down and you move it. This will automatically disconnect the component. So I will erase this line, bring this line down here. I need another R1 contact on this line, so I can simply hold down the control key and drag R1 down here and connect it like that. So there's multiple ways to draw the same circuit with the same behavior. So now let's stop the simulation and open a sample file that has two cylinder control electrically. Let's close the library. So here we have the exact same thing that we did on the other drawing, but in this one we have a bigger sequence where we control two cylinders 
So if we start the simulation, hit start, and then you can actually follow the sequence that we just programmed using the exact same way we did on the drawing before, dragging and dropping components. One more file I want to show you is the same circuit, but this time using the IEC standard for European standard. As you can see, it's a bit different the way it is drawn. And if we start the simulation, it behaves the exact same way. Thank you for your time, and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.